<laughs> no, just um, throughout your career, man, you two kind of bump heads a lot. <laughs> but this brother what brothers do, man. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you this: Do you feel like, outside of all the you know mishaps and you no know, problems that you two had, that was kind of you know publicized on the internet, do you feel like that? It kind of slowed y'all career down. That y'all could be farther than where y'all at now. If y'all no, would just. I don't think it's that. I don't think it was that. What would you say it was? Feds. You said the feds going to jail? That's what it was. Feds. Uh -huh. And he, like I said, he currently sitting down too right now. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of, yeah. It kind of slows down y'all whole movement. Because you got to understand, bro. Despite all the internet shit that was going on, we we had a buzz. We had reached the goal and the point we had a buzz outside our city. So when you get that buzz outside the city, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like you experience different shit, different opportunities. So yeah, the city had they, you know what I'm saying? Image or they could say whatever the fuck they wanted to say. We still had other people who were like. Despite all the bullshit that's going on, these are two talented people that we've never heard. And it's the music, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they gravitated towards, the music. So, I feel like it was the feds who really put a hold on the, the whole journey. Because you gotta understand, we was on our way, like, shit, it just had signed. We finna move to Atlanta. It wasn't like we just finna take a trip there. We finna move there. He got hit further with the feds, you know what I'm saying? So, that put a hole in it. Cause it should be different by by yourself, bro. Like a lot of people, it's just a lot to that shit, bro. Like when he got locked up that first time, motherfuckers don't understand that weight. Like it's a lot of weight, and then you got rich motherfuckers in your ear too, with motherfuckers that got money and shit, and and they trying to manipulate you and motherfuckers in your ear. So it don't make no, I don't make no better. Well, you say y'all got signed. Who y'all signed to at that time? Was cinematic. It cinematic. Yeah. yeah. And. When he's, you know, had to sit down, you continued on and went on with the deal. Yeah. 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 I know he kind of spoke about it, you know, once he came home. Kind of felt like that you, you know, left him. Yeah, he felt like I left him. Yeah. Bro, feel like I left him. He felt like I left him because he was locked up. You know what I'm saying? He was locked up and, and he wanted to be out there doing, he wanted to be out there with me. So anybody going to. If that was me in that situation, I'd feel the same way. But you gotta understand, bro, I had my own issues, bro. I didn't have shit when I came home, bro, but him. Like, he made sure that I was good. So when he got locked up, that let me know where I didn't have nothing to nobody, but I was in a situation to make something happen. So I had to, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it was just miscommunication. Because he's sitting there feeling like I'm saying, fuck him. The whole time I'm out here grinding for us, so when you come home, bro, you good, you don't have to worry about shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's just what that was. Yeah. Say, so once he came home, did I resolve the problems at that time, or would it continue, though? When he came home, you know, then he, that's, was that the time that he went on with the Benji gang? Yeah, when he came home, just this last time. Uh huh. Yeah, was, we that, came, was that after the cinematic thing? Yeah, when he came home uh -huh. after the cinematic shit. Yeah. Yeah, because he came home first. Yeah, because I, yeah. So when he came home, we we, we actually got re reconnected in jail. When he was in jail, mm -hmm. we were hollering at each other and shit. We was talking. And see, even in that situation, motherfuckers don't understand. It was deeper than what they was hearing, like, while we was falling out. You know what I'm saying? Like, a prosecutor coming to me telling me, you know what I'm saying, bro, you know what I'm saying, shit the whole time. She trying to get me to say something, you know what I'm saying? So I had to get my lawyer transcripts and everything. I had to really get on that, you know what I'm saying? I had to get statements and shit and come to find out it wasn't no funny business on neither part, you know what I'm saying? So I had to reach out. That's when I was, I was wrong on that situation. So I reached out and we rekindled, got that locked back in, you know what I'm saying? And um, he came home, we, he came home. I came home, that's when I came home, my first day home and shit, we shot the video, we was good. But then it just, you know, shit, shit started happening. Yeah. Uh, you, say, 